Now, tablet computers have replaced the TV in the bedroom as the must-have gadget for children, with over one-third of those aged from 5 to 15 owning one. But do you think that we should be worried about this? Well, y yes, um, but, um, I mean, I would, I would never let my kids have a TV in their room anyway because uh, I, I think that's the way I grew up. My mum didn't, mm. and I think that you go to bed to go to sleep. Um, what worries me, what's starting to worry me more and more is, and actually I only just found out this morning when we were talking, my daughters both have eye, iPods, touched, yeah. and I didn't know that you're supposed to be 13 before you're, you're allowed to go on Instagram. Yeah. So I would like to say, oh, I'm very vigilant and I'm very... But actually, I didn't know that. So, so you know, what else can they do on that that I don't know? And I think if you're tucked away up in your bedroom, um, yeah, then you can... I'm really fed up with people of our generation being worried about things all the time. You know, this is the technology that our young people are growing up with. It is amazing technology. The access to information, to the world, transforming people's lives. Yes, it's got a downside, mm. but actually the downside should not be overplayed. Yes, we need to deal with it. But I just well, can imagine... It, yeah. Well, I can imagine my 12-year-old sitting watching this, you better not be, you better be at school, <laughs> thinking, oh, there <laughs> they go again. <laughs> you know, we've well, got... I remember Wise, have you got this? parental controls on your computer? And you said, no, I'd have to ask Charlie how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's very good there. <laughs> well, that... actually, there's a duty for us to know more about it. Yeah, I think I we've got to stop enough. saying, oh, I don't understand it, and yeah. we just stop them using it. Mm. If, if we want them to get the full benefit of this technology, which is amazing, we have to shut up, get on, get with the programme, learn about it, and, you know... Deal with the downside, but embrace the big. Well, do you know, I can, sorry, Sherry, can I can I just though? say sorry, just to back back you up absolutely um, uh, with, with with what you just said there, uh, Lim, L L Lily. Do you know I've got one lens for looking far away and one, none, nothing <laughs> from near. I need eyes. my glasses on. I can't see. <laughs> I might need to read this out. Uh, 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 the Children's Society, head of the Children's Society, said many parents clearly feel their children know more about the internet than they do. Yeah. Uh, the danger is it makes it harder for them to supervise their children's online activity and help them stay safe. Which I I think is right because we're not at saying don't go near it it's just how how do you find that balance of them researching their homework for example and something horrible popping up on screen that mm. you I, have th no I think it is a worry I, I don't agree with Kate at all I think it is a worry and I think we should be worried and I think we should be more vigilant um, my uh, I've got a, a laptop and my uh, grandson who's eight went on it and he was just looking for tractors and da 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 and he, he'd been on a while and he said oh look at this nana and on the left hand side popped up a man and it said would you like to be my buddy don't know where to come it was only that big on this on the left hand side and I went oh my god and and it was it was a man just standing there like that saying you would you like what and I went turn it man. yes Oh. What, like a character or no, just a person a, a, a that's sitting man, in front of a man? A man going, man. and underneath man. it said, would you like to be my buddy? And I said, oh, don't, I don't think we want to do that, do we, Oliver? He said, but who is this man, Nana? And I said, I've no idea, and we, we got it off. Yeah. But I didn't know what it was, and Keely well, didn't but know what it was. shouldn't you have had a conversation with him there? And said, look, Oliver, you know, there's the internet and explain about the internet, explain about the access to it, talk about things that he's uncomfortable with, talk mm. about things that perhaps, you know, he needs to get away from, look at the controls that are on the computer rather than get away, get away, get I know, away. But it is frightening. I am but gonna, what you I gonna have do to, no, I have to tell I have to agree with you in the sense I don't know enough and it's my fault, I should know more. Mm. But also I think we should be frightened of it because there's so much on it and but there's only so many take things. action, I suppose, and actually find out what we can do. Because I if I'm honest, we need to be I'm aware. Late Easy. I do too easily say, oh, I don't know anything. Oh, find me a ten-year-old because I don't know what to do with this oh, yeah, newfangled machine. About it, yes. and, and, and actually, that's me being lazy. And, I, and I'm not stuck with it. And I found out today that actually my daughter shouldn't even be on Instagram at 13. I didn't even know that. No, no. So I'm not doing my homework. I'm saying I want to protect her, but I've got to do the homework to be able to do that, I suppose. Really. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go again. Oh, Bad no, you're a good one. <laughs> hey, at least you cook. That's more than I do. <laughs> <laughs>